speaker is Mr. Akash Sultan of Oracle. His topic is understanding the key talents. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Akash Sultan. I head the application business for Oracle for Southeast Asia. Um, not a HR practitioner. I'm a technologist, right? But my role for today's presentation would be to try and uh, share some of the experiences that I've had with uh, customers in Pakistan, customers in emerging markets, and customers in the developed countries. I, I live in Singapore and um, manage these segments. And there are, there are similarities in terms of uh, the customer needs, in terms of the problem that we're facing. And uh, it also goes back to Oracle itself. Uh, we are present in almost 145 countries a company which has an employee size of 120,000 120, people. And our biggest issue uh, in today's world is how do we retain top talents? How do we make sure that we identify the top talents within the organization? And how do we grow? And how do we, how do we make sure that we uh, get the best out of them? Um, I will start by, by sharing this picture. I'm sure most of you must have seen this picture. Um, many times on internet and Facebooks and whatnot, but if you see at the, uh, on the top versus if you see in the bottom, is this taken at the same place uh, back in 2005 in Vatican City, and it's been taken again in 2013. And the biggest difference is, uh, if you figure out, is uh, one is mobile, of course, but the other way is how we've now interacting in our daily lives, how we are experiencing our daily lives, are we interacting with our daily lives? Are we available 24-7 with our families? And how we are responding to the world? So the world has transformed in the last 10 years. Um, if we look at just the data and the information which is available in the last 10 years, the, the, the generation of data is more in last 10 years than in the last, last 100 years. And if you've seen, if you go back and look at the history, and if you see Fortune 500 companies, you would also figure out that half of those Fortune 500 companies which were there before 2005 are no more there on the radar. So what has happened? What has happened, there must be something which has is, which is literally gone wrong. And if uh, I, I've, heard, I've heard presenters talking about Nokia, I've heard presenters talking about Kodak. These are classic examples. These are examples of, uh, of uh, serious learnings. Um, take an example of Kodak. Uh, if anybody in this room knows, right, who's the pioneer of digital photography, do you know? It is Kodak. It is Kodak who was the pioneer of digital photography. And what has happened is because their filming business is bigger than photography, and so they decided that let go of this issue which is coming their way, don't embrace this issue, and continue to support your core business. And in the process, in the process, they've lost their ways. Same goes for Nokia. I don't know how many Nokias are there back in the, when these pictures have taken. So what has happened, Nokia was the brand which has introduced mobiles. So at Oracle, our biggest issue, our biggest problem that we're facing now with competition, with cloud coming in, I'm sure most or more and more of, uh, of you must have heard about cloud, and uh, our, our teams are coming back to you asking about, that. let's talk about cloud. IBM, Microsoft, SAP, all those technology vendors out of Silicon Valley are talking about cloud. And so a company which has formed a solutions back on on-premise solutions. All our investment has been done on on-prem solution. We are literally changing our engines during our flights. And changing our engine during our flights, and at the same time making sure that we are able to cross that bar is difficult. And the only way we can do this is by hiring the top talents, by making sure that we get the top talents, retaining them, and let them do your work. And then uh, the other comment was that, how do we balance between Generation Y and millennials? How do we balance between these two worlds? How do we make sure that uh, while we have the top heads, we are making sure that we maximize on, uh, on, uh, on millennials? Uh, this is uh, one of the guys which really wanted me to have this slide. It's what, remains in, what happens in Vegas remains in Vegas. That was a famous quote, right? 
But nowadays what is happening is again, it, whatever happens in Vegas remains on YouTube. Either remain on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or all of this. So social mediums are playing a very effective role in your daily lives. The way you used to engage before versus how you engage today, even within the organization have changed. Uh, Facebook has introduced an application called Workplace. I don't know if any of customers are using here, but we at Oracle, we have designed a similar application, which we call it collaborative tools. And it is a way to communicate, collaborate, and share your learnings with each other. And the way we use this is uh, we can take experience. So if I have a problem sitting in Pakistan, I can have anybody within my communities responding to it from Spain from any other part of the world. If I'm competing with Microsoft on any of the deals, if I'm competing with SAP in any of the deal, I don't have to follow the standard lines, but I go via matrix systems. I go via systems which can help me to get the information at the right time, at the right place. Um, we talk to our different customers, different stakeholders across the region, across the world, and one thing which is common, one thing when we, whenever we're talking about uh, CEO's agenda, how do we build that sustainable model? How do we make sure that we grow at, in a longer term in a sustainable business? And our message is that change is the only constant thing. But what you can do to your organization is how do you retain? How do you retain? How do you identify? And how do you make sure that people retain with the organization in the longer run? Every business in Asia Pacific while there is a huge growth, while there is a huge potential of this is the market to be, because there are markets which are frontier market, there are markets which are developing market, but the biggest issue for CEOs, for the top talents is how do we make sure that we have the right employees for the job? And then the other biggest issue which, is, uh, which we keep saying is how do we make sure that employees are engaged? So 60% of the employees which are on the job are truly not on the job. They're not inspired by the work that they're doing on a daily basis. They're not engaged fully. And so the potential, potential is not just coming up. And so future is, is challenging. Uh, future is challenging with technology at the forefront, with technology keeps changing every year, every second future is going to be difficult. How do you make sure that you get the, the top talent within the organization? Some of these analyses are there, but you see, uh, if you see the other graph, you see 70% 70 per, 70 of the employees are dissatisfied with their career opportunities within the organization. I've been, into, I've been with Oracle for the last 10 years, and in my last discussion with my manager, he said, why are you still with Oracle? And and, 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 the, uh, and the question was, and I literally, I, it, was a, it was an eye-opener. It was an eye-opener for myself as well that why was Oracle giving me a platform to grow? What Oracle keeping me engaged? Or there was something else? And then we've decided a roadmap. We've looked at, we've designed a system. Uh, we've designed a system uh, which is a talent grid. And I'll share with you uh, later. Let me show you this example. Uh, We've designed a system called Talent Grid. And what it does is we look at 150 different variables and we map it to an employee profile. And what we have done is when we have acquired this uh, uh, nine grid talent system, we applied it within Oracle. And what we have done is we have clocked back a North American data for two years back. So in 2015, we clocked back uh, a data two years back and see the patterns. And we've been able to figure out that which are the employees which we'll not be able to retain. So if you just go back and look at those behaviors, if you try and understand and map it to the, the potential of the job, challenges every day, comparing it with millennials versus Generation Y, compensation is again an element. So you map out all those uh, 150 elements and you could figure out. And so, so between yesterday and today, the directions or the 
um, how would I say, the, the importance of decisions have changed. Previously, it was about loyalty. Now, it's about employability. My father has worked for a bank for 30 years. I can't imagine myself doing the same job for the next 30 years. Pension, now it's purpose. Need, there's always a need of a good boss, but it, now it's more with collaborative approach, with more metric systems. There's a need of more good colleagues, great colleagues, where you can go and share. Mobility, again, generation, if you're working with millennials, forget about 9 to 5. It's all about wherever, it's all about 24-7, it's all about mobility. Workplace, same issues. You can't expect people to walk in every day to, especially if you are in a sales organization like our Oracle, we don't expect our employees to tap in at 9 a.m. and go out at 5. We give them environment to succeed and uh, we give them a place where they have the maximum flexibility and tenure. It can't be the whole career, but it has to be a plan, it has to be a path where they can grow and they can grow for, for further. So, six practices to retain top talents via using technology. And technology is just one element to this. Um, I totally agree with some of the earlier uh, speakers. There are many ways to retain talent. Um, and technology can play a part in terms of achieving your goals. First thing, recruit the right people in the right place. How many of you know, and I give Oracle example, we maintain a database of 120,000 people within the company. And what we figured out is, even with that database, the best thing in the market is LinkedIn. Best thing in the market is LinkedIn, which has a more updated profile of an employee, of your employee. And not just that, you can also track the behavior of an employee the activities that employees are doing on, on those social networks. And if there is a way for me to bring back that information back into my systems and then do analysis, that's the key. So it's more about pulling an external information back into your system and do analysis of those behaviors. So that, that's the first part. Um, and that has really helped uh, some of our customers. Uh, second part, uh, improve the line manager's ability to manage. So once you have a great employee like, tagged against a line manager, how do you make sure that line manager's ability? You have to provide him with the right information, with the right data, with the right skill sets. So the, the line manager has to be equally equipped. So I work for sales, I head sales. None of my employee is interested to have a subjective variable plans. So they don't want, they want a dollar for a dollar. They don't want to be get caught with the subjective analysis of their managers. So they need a process, they need transparency in the process, which is where they can identify that if I do X, then I'll be able to get Y. And so systems bring that discipline. Systems, it's it, normally ACRs, performance appraisers is, are done and which is also related to point number three, are being done half yearly basis on an annual basis. And what we figured out at Oracle is it has to be a continuous process. There is nothing like half yearly performance appraisal or an yearly performance appraisal. It has to be a continuous daily process. When you look at Facebook, you do that thumbs up or you do that thumbs down. This is a feedback. So you have to acknowledge your employees almost on a daily basis. And so you have to have those mechanisms. And so collaboration tools, which are available in the market, these tools help you to collaborate, take continuous feedback from the employees, and then being able to get your uh, uh, meaningful conversations with them. Employees, empowerment of employees is again a very important element. Um, how do they manage their own careers? How do they grow within their careers? What are their aspirations? Rotations, these are all important aspects in terms of making sure that those employees are engaged and you are able to attract them or keep them with the, with the organization for as long as possible. 
and then continuously measure and improve retention strategy. So there are many retention strategies. And what Oracle, what, uh, what we've experienced uh, within, uh, within our firm is uh, we keep rotating uh, people and give them tasks which are not possible, which are impossible at times. And we challenge them on their daily lives to make sure that they get their sense of achievement. And we have seen people doing things which are unbelievable. And as Steve Jobs has once said, right, that uh, uh, our job is to hire the right people and their job is to guide us. So it is about making sure that you get the right people in and then let them guide the path. So this is, yeah, I would like to finish here, but uh, I think we are short on time. Uh, but uh, these are some of the learnings that we have had at Oracle, and I think it's working out for us. Uh, we are living to our, our expectations of our customers. Thank you very much.